Warriors, we are live from the quarantine. We've made it to yet another Monday in this uh, month of July. Great job surviving. I'm really, I am grateful for each and every one of you. And what? This is gratitude month. So we're talking about why, why, why do we want to think about being grateful? And um, one of the great reasons why is because of the neurotransmitter dopamine that is created once we're thinking a grateful thought. And uh, I like that feeling and that feeling that dopamine also causes action and reaction to happen. So, or um, doing that action again rather. So when you feel, when you feel grateful, you, um, get dopa you get a dopamine rush and then you wanna feel grateful again. So you keep thinking about it. So that's what we're really trying to work on this month. Um, another way to feel grateful would be to think about somebody who's really helped you out in your life, like a mentor or a family member, what they did to help you and why you're grateful for that, for that uh, situation. So there's another, another thing you can journal about in your gratitude journals. Yeah? Yeah. All right, guys. We are going to warm up with our jumping jacks. Again, if you're at home and you can't do jumping jacks, go ahead and give me body squats or just follow along with the arm movements or a, a both, all right? So guys, I'm gonna count the first five. You're gonna count the second five, and go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, eight. And go, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, eight. And go, one, two, Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I really like these creative squats with the arms. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. You're getting it all done. All right, guys, second set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I go. One, two, three, four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last set. Last set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And go. One. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, guys. So for the at-home Zoomers slash YouTubers, you will need a kettlebell for kettlebell swings. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell for the swings, that's no problem. And then a dumbbell that you will be able to do a single arm overhead press with. All right, so let's start standing. I want you to reach towards me. I want you to reach out of those shoulders. And then you're gonna bring your shoulders down to your hips. Then you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together at the back. And then you're gonna bring your shoulders up to your ears. So that's a full circle right there. So really, really think about spreading out those shoulder blades as you reach forward, bringing them down to your hips, then together at the back, and then up at your ears. So go ahead and give me 10 shoulder circles that way. And then you're gonna do it in reverse. So you're gonna go up to your ears, together at the back, down to your hips, and out. Guys, I went to Cannon Beach yesterday. It was packed. It was like scary, scary packed. Yeah. All right, guys. Next, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna do these horizontal arm swings. There we go, about 10. Back and forth with that, getting them as far behind you as possible, but just don't stress it. And then we're gonna go into a vertical line, up and down. 
really reaching up. Ten. Nice. Now, guys, I want you to go knee to chest. So I'm going to take my knee. I'm going to pull it into my chest. I'm going to bring my pelvis forward. Ten on each side. If you're having a hard time with balance, try to find a spot on the wall. Just look at that spot. All right. Now, if you can, I want you to cross one leg over the other. You're going to reach up. You're going to reach down to the ground. If that's too hard and you can't get the straight legs with it, then widen out your legs. Reach up and then touch down. All right. Switch out the legs each time if you can cross it. Go ahead and give me five on each leg. Really reach up, then down. Take a second at the bottom. do our standing in place walking quad stretch so it's going to be opposite arm opposite leg keeping that knee underneath that hip don't let that knee come out and then switch it out to the other side but I want you to really really feel this stretch in the obliques of the other side that's reaching up go ahead and give me five on each side this is another one where if you find a spot on the wall it's going to help you keep your balance Feeling the love, guys. Feeling the love. Woo! So I fall over myself. All right. So while we're still standing here, I want you to put your thumbs pointed to the wall. I want you to, or uh, the ceiling. I want you to really lock out those arms. And I want you to bring your head to the front, then your ear to the side, to the back, to the side, making nice, gentle neck circles. Five in the one direction. And then we're going to take it five the other way. Oh. All right. Now, guys, we're going to come into a high plank. I'm going to take my right knee. I'm going to bring it in between my hands. I'm going to lock out that back leg and we're going to go into this pigeon stretch. Then I'm going to take this hip that's over this foot and I'm going to turn it down in to really level out those hips. There we go. Yep. I want you to keep that tension in that back leg. If you can't and you need to put your knee on the ground, that's okay. But if you can, I'd rather you have that constant tension going. Breathing in, breathing out. Come back into that high plank. Bring that knee forward. Turning that hip down into that foot that's underneath the hip. Breathing in, breathing out. Let's do it one more time on each side. Oh, feeling that stretch. Feel it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, switch it out to the other side. Thought I had Steela up there for a second. Now she's gone. Wahapa. Uh. All right, guys, let's go ahead. We're gonna lay on our side. We're gonna do our side lying archer. So I'm gonna stack my knees as I lay on my side, bringing my arms forward 
Then I'm going to take that arm and I'm going to drag it across my chest. And then I'm going to look at that hand behind me, seeing how high my shoulder is off the ground in the back. Come back in, keeping those knees stacked and on the ground the entire time. Come back in, drag it. We're going to do five times on the right and then five times on the left. How's that feel, Bob? Does it feel awesome? It feels awesome. It feels awesome? Ah. Uh, really feeling this in my shoulders today. All right. Laying on the other side. Stacking those knees. Dragging that arm, looking back at that hand, really getting that thoracic spine and that chest to open up. Ah, great job, guys. All right. Next, let's go into our cat cow. So I'm here in this quadruped position, and then I'm gonna start with my tailbone as I bring my pelvis in, really stretching out of that thoracic spine. Pretend like there's a string right here in the middle of your shoulder blades pulling you up to the ceiling, and then take it back the other way, starting with your tailbone first, and then ending with your head. So go ahead and give me five, really slow, both ways, tucking that chin to chest at the bottom, of the cat, head extends up on the cow. Uh. After you've done five both ways, we're gonna stand up. All right, so now we're gonna do our I's, our Y's, our W's, and our T's. So for my eye, I want to get into this hinge position where I'm really pulling that butt to that back wall. Then my arms are gonna come in right next to my ears. And then I'm gonna come into this like ski jumper position where my arms come back up. So go ahead and give me 10. So my arms are right in line with my ears with this. standing it up, shaking it out. And then we're gonna go into our Y's. So for my Y, I'm gonna be at more of a 45 degree angle, coming into that hinge position, pulling that butt to that back wall, and then I'm just gonna to touch my knees and then come back out. So I'm at a 45 degree angle with my arms, touching those knees, come back out, yeah. Feeling this in the hamstrings? <sighs> Ten of those, taking our time. Hopefully you're really feeling those hamstrings and those glutes warm up. All right, guys, next we have our W's. So for my W's, my elbows come together, my hands come together, back into that hinge position, bringing those hands out to my shoulders and back down again. So squeezing those shoulder blades together at the top, and then forearms come in full contact with each other. Yeah. Nice. All right. And then to finish it off, we're gonna do our T's. So again, hinge position. Arms come straight out to the sides. Squeezing those shoulder blades together at the top. It's 
so interesting how hard this is without any weight at all. <laughs> Uh, nice job, guys. All right. So next what I want to do is I want to come into this lunge. Deep, deep lunge, hands next to foot, coming out into this high plank. I'm doing my walk around, coming back in, and then I'm going to rotate away or in, whichever direction you want to call that. Go ahead and give me five on each side. Warming up our lower body and our upper body with this one. Oof. Making sure to come into that high plank, bringing those hips at the same level as the shoulders, getting those shoulders over those wrists. Nice, guys. So five on each side of those. All right. Then we're going to go into last month's homework, which was our deep squat, grabbing our toes, turning away, turning away, and then Bringing that chin to chest, getting that hamstring stretch. Give me five of those. Oh, deep, deep squat, deeper than you would normally go. Really sitting into it. So after you've done five of those, I'm gonna grab some water and then we're gonna go to the next part of our warm up. I'm gonna grab my kettlebell. All right, or if you have a dumbbell, that's fine too. You can just set your dumbbell upright as we do these different warm-ups. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand in front of our kettlebell, about a, about a foot in front of our kettlebell, and then I'm gonna lock out my glutes. I'm gonna really turn on my lats, really get those activated, and I'm gonna come down, bringing my butt to that back wall, and I'm gonna to touch the horns, and then come back up again, really squeezing those glutes at the top. Give me 10 of those. <sighs> 10 of those, all right. Next, we're going to stand next to our kettlebell so that our shoelaces are lined up with the horn in the same exact thing, bringing that butt to that back wall, staying in those lats, touching the horn, and coming back up again. So we're warming up this hinge pattern. If you haven't seen it yet, I posted a really, really great graph on the Facebook secret group page um, talking about the difference between amount of knee bend between the hinge position and the squat. There's this awesome uh, Dr. John Rusum who comes up with these really great graphs showing you the difference between the two exercises. Now guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our deadlift. So again, if you have a, if you have a dumbbell at home, that's fine. You can just deadlift the dumbbell, uh, just having it upright off the floor. Otherwise, you're still in this position where your feet are just on either side of your kettlebell. You're coming down and now what I want you to do is I want you to really turn on those lats so you're going to bring your elbow pits forward you're going to pretend like you're breaking the kettlebell and then come back down so really think about turning on those lats if you pretend like it's a bar that you're bending 
You're really gonna get those lats on. Full placement on the ground with this. Nice. All right, now we're gonna work on our swings. So, because we're gonna be doing our swings during our workout, so I always wanna hike the kettlebell forward to start and I always wanna end in that same position. If you're using a dumbbell, you're just gonna start in this upright position. One hand is gonna be over the other. You're gonna swing it back, come up. You're doing the same exact motion. It's just a slightly, a little bit different since you have hand over hand as opposed to hand next to hand. But for my kettlebell swing, I always wanna end in the same position that I start with. So my, my kettlebell is hiked forward it comes back, it comes up, and then I end with it forward, all right? So don't end with it like just dangling there, all right? So we're gonna start, we're gonna bring that kettlebell back, comes up, really squeeze those glutes at the top, let that kettlebell pull you over as you're doing this. Give me 10 of those. As Soon as that kettlebell gets shoulder height, you push down, boom, all right? Now, one of the things that I see a lot of people do with the kettlebell swing is they let their arms come out from them. Do not let your arms come out of the socket. You wanna keep those lats engaged, so you wanna keep those, those shoulders back as you come up, and as soon as it hits the top, you're pushing back down again and then coming back up, all right? So, for our first circuit, oh, I'm gonna grab a piece of chalk just to make sure I keep track of all these sets. All right, for our first circuit, we're gonna do 10 loaded, um, I'm sorry, 10 sets of two loaded jumps and then five kettlebell swings. We're gonna rest for 30 seconds and then we're gonna hit it again. So 10 sets. So I'm gonna keep track of that. So for my loaded jump, what that's gonna look like is I'm gonna grab my weight. Now, if, you, if your weight's a little too heavy, that's okay. You can do this without weight. But I'm gonna come into this squat and then I'm gonna really power up out of it, come back down, power up out of it, come back down, all right? So with this, I want you to land as softly as possible. I want you to use your legs as shock absorbers, all right? Don't hit it flat-footed, you're coming up, really powering up out of it, boom, all right? So again, if, you're, if your weight is too heavy, don't worry about it, you can just do this without. In the past, we've done this from a seated bench position and then we've exploded up out of it. Today, we're gonna do it from a squat position. So when, it, when we start, two loaded jumps, five kettlebell swings, rest for 30 seconds, all right? And we're going. So I got my two jumps. <sighs> Land like a ninja, power up, get as high as you possibly can. And then five super powerful kettlebell swings. <sighs> All right, that was one. Ah, ah, ah. Makes you think of baked potatoes. Makes you think of baked potatoes? Ah! Yeah, I like it. You're hungry. Rob wants some loaded baked potatoes. Loaded squat jumps. I like it. I like it. Just 30 seconds of rest, guys. All right. And we're going. So hopefully you're landing so softly in your apartments that nobody can hear you. If not, this is only gonna last for a few minutes anyway. All right, 30 seconds of rest. Two, we're doing 10 sets total. All right, so the first couple, not gonna feel so bad. And then it's gonna get a little on the fatiguing side, maybe. I don't wanna put thoughts in your head by any chance, but 
All right. Was that? No pressure, no diamonds. <laughs> no pressure, no diamonds. Right, Jasmine? All right, guys. And we're going. Explode. Really power up out of it. Soft like ninja landing. Five powerful kettlebell swings. Let that kettlebell pull you over and blast up with those hips. All right. 30 seconds. Grab water if you need it. Woo! Here we go. Get low really powering up exhale at the top nice look we already have done four of those what what i like that i like that little that's good that's good All right, guys, we got about 15 seconds left. Then we're hitting it. Woo! Here we go. Boom. Get some air. Five. Yeah. Done five already. Nice. All right. So I went to Cannon Beach yesterday. I was supposed to go to Mount Hamilton at the last minute, changed my mind, went to Cannon Beach. I'm on the beach walking for about two hours, come back, go to one of the rest, rest areas, go to the potty, come out of the potty, trying to wash my hands at the sink. Sink's not working. I'll tell you here in a second. Let's do our next. I'll finish this very engaging story. <laughs> Choose your own adventure. Nice, 30 seconds. So I'm standing at, at one of the sinks that's not working and there's a woman at the sink that is working and she turns to me and she said, maybe you should use this one and it's my best friend. We had no idea, like, that I had no idea she was gonna be at the coast, I was gonna be at the coast. We look at each other, we got masks on, we look at each other, and then we just bust out laughing. I mean, just like thunderous laughter. It was so funny. It was awesome. No, 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 no. No, she's in New York, actually. All right, guys, that was six. Thank God for chalk. Yikes, I'd be losing track. All right. I just loved how every moment of that day lined up so that my best friend and I went to the bathroom at the same time. Just, yeah, serendipitous, that is correct. All right, guys, getting after it. All right, just three more, that's it. Woo! Feels good to move. Bob's like doing a little, doing a little active recovery dance here. I like it, I like it. <laughs> white man, the white man shuffle. <laughs> oh yeah, what am I doing? 
<laughs> I just started doing goblet squats. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> All right. That was eight, my friends. Eight. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. Just a couple more. And then we have another circuit full of fun, just like this one. Yay! All right. I think this is 30 seconds. Wow! Get some air! Get some air! Don't forget, guys, really crank that the horns of the kettlebell so you're really turning on those lats like you're going to break the horns. All right. This is going to be our last set. Last set. Look at that. That was fast. <laughs> All right, guys. Even with the stories. Even with the stories. <laughs> Nice. All right. Let's grab some water, some rest. I will we'll walk through the next part of the circuit. Get our kettlebells out of the way. Move obstructions from our path because we're also going to walk with this one. So for this next part of the circuit, we're going to do a side press. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my dumbbell. I'm going to lock out those legs, really squeeze those glutes. I'm going to tense up this opposite arm. I'm going to take my dumbbell and I'm going to reach over as I press up. All right. Now the you should feel this in the pressing arm. The crunching ab is it's fine. It's, you're, getting some, you're getting some work out of it, but you should really be concentrating on the extending arm. So for now, give me five of those just to get the feel for it. Switch it out to the other side. So really coming over to the side. <sighs> Feeling that tension in this part of my body. All right. Then when you're done with that, take your, take your dumbbell back to that other arm, put it up overhead, and then you're going to take 10 steps. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Trying to really keep that arm as locked out as possible. All right. So again, we're just practicing, we're just warming up, getting the feel for it, making sure that there's no cats or dogs in our way or bunnies, as Jasmine has in her arc. All right, so for this circuit, we are going to do 10 of those side presses, all right? Make sure you keep that tension in that opposite arm as you're pressing overhead, all right? And then we're going to do 10 on each side, switch it back out to the original side, do your uh, five steps forward, five steps back, or whatever you have to do in order to get 10 steps. And then we're going to rest. Um, we're, well, we'll rest as needed, but let's try to do the 30 seconds again, because that was a really, good, a really good way to do it. There we go. Make sure you're really trying to bend over to that extended arm as you're pressing up. 
Switching it out. One, two, three. So guys, if you happen to feel this in your lower back, squeeze those glutes, all right? Get those glutes on, get those abs on by expanding that belly full of air. Doing my walk, my slow walk. Coming back. Switching it out. Pressing up. All right. That was set one. So maybe 20, maybe 30 seconds of rest. Whatever you need. Grab a little bit more liquid. So you get very fast. Yeah, right? <laughs> Bob feels like this is gonna get hard fast. I would not doubt that. Especially if you did the tendon work last week with the uh, three sets of 60 overhead banded press, kneeling overhead banded press. That was shockingly hard. <sighs> yep. So really getting that reach. Try to see. Over. Yeah. <sighs> 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 Yep, glad I chose the weight that I did. Five, 10 steps on each arm. When we make that fist in that other hand, we're really activating that side of our body. So we're activating both sides of our body just in different ways. All right. Yeah. You guys feel happy about your weight choices? Yeah? <laughs> Bob does not. All right, guys. Getting back into it. This is our third set. <laughs> and here, here, I thought that I put those wings up high enough. out that elbow, getting that arm as straight as possible. You, it might feel straight. That looks straight. Yeah, that's good. All right. Woo! Feeling the love in those shoulders. Yeah? Good times. All right. Here we go. Whoa. Really feel this in that pressing side, in the obliques of the pressing side. Ten, 
Nice. Woo. All right. And then, guys, too, if this is getting pretty heavy with these walks, you can always lose the weight and just have that arm extended overhead. All right. That was four. <laughs> Are you uh, questioning my my counting? <laughs> You can question it. <laughs> yeah, give me a little bit more bend, Jasmine. There we go, yeah. I think I chose a light enough weight. What the what? Wow, that feels like a thousand. <laughs> Four, five, elbows locked out, elbows locked out, elbows straight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right guys that was halfway through <laughs> what the what dorks <laughs> all right Going into our set six, two, three, four. No spotting, no spotting in the gym, Josh. Feeling the love in the shoulders this morning. Uh, and I got my walk. Yeah. So guys, if you choose to either lower your weight or get rid of your weight for any part of this, make sure you do it on the right side and the left side. Don't do a weighted like right side and then not put weight in the left, all right? Always stay with the weaker arm as far as what the weaker arm is doing. <sighs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Doing the thing. All right. Woo. Does that weight feel better? <laughs> it feels better. <laughs> Last week. I'm not sure it's gonna be the last week, but I can so that can go. Yeah. All right, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Josh's unearthly, ungodly form of torture that he's putting us through right now. Look at him standing over there. He's not even doing it. It's all about Bob. 
<laughs> is that what it feels like in your house too, Bob? Yeah, it's, all, just like that. <laughs> it's all about Bob. Oh, Bob <laughs> oh no. <laughs> ah, it's real easy to let that arm bend, guys, as you get fatigued. Really keep that elbow locked out. All right. That was seven. If my math serves me well, we only have three left. We got this. Feeling it. Feeling it. Oh. Okay. If you need more rest, take more rest. It's okay. <sighs> skip a set and that's another way to get more rest Woo! shoulder boulders yeah ah. all right guys Two more, two more. You got this. Woo. Oh. A little bit of active recovery here. All right. <laughs> if you're not able to use your arms for the rest of the day, you can go ahead and send Coach Josh a little thank you text. Thank you for believing in Coach Josh. Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, we are warriors. That's what my shirt says. Ha ha ha. What set is it, Bootay? What set is it, Bob? It's our last set. Yes. Then we got some abs. We got some abs to look forward to. Rest our poor little, poor little arms. My goodness. Uh. This. We got this. Come on, come on. All right. Woo! Ah! Five, two, three, four, five. All right, guys. Get water, get rest. I need to pass out some mats to these warriors.
Bobbert. Rob. Thank you. Woo. Floating away. Here we go. And to the jazz hands. Absolutely. All right. So, next we have our ab stuff. Yay! Yay! Jasmine, you're so awake. I can't believe it. <laughs> Jasmine went to work last night at 8.30, and then she came in here. So she has not slept yet. There's a warrior. All right, guys, we're going to start off with penguins. All right, we're going to do 10 penguins. So I'm on my back, getting that lower back pushed into the ground, really reaching as far down my shoes as I possibly can as I go 10 on each side. Oh, yay, more oblique stuff. What the heck, Josh? Good tip. Nice. Next, we have our military crunch. So if you want to make this harder, you can grab a dumbbell. I am going to choose not to because I feel like just pounded my shoulders. So we're going to keep our knees up the whole time. My arms are straight. I come up. I reach up at the top, I come back down, arms stay straight, knees stay bent. Six. Nice. And then we have our lateral crawl. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into this quadruped position. My knees are going to be slightly um, above the ground. I'm going to take a step out and in, a step out and in. So my hands are doing the opposite thing that my feet are doing. If that gets messed up, don't worry about it. You're just crawling back and forth 10 times, keeping your butt at the same height as your shoulders, all right? Keeping those shoulders over your wrists. Can you get lower with those knees, Reba? Can't do that one? Okay, yeah. So, what I'm gonna have you do instead, is I'm just gonna have you hold it, all right? Yeah, just keep that ISO hold then, all right? And guys, we're going into our next set. So, got my penguins. Ten on each side. Eight, nine, and ten. All right. Going into my military crunch, arm overhead. Reaching up, again, I can do this with a dumbbell. If you want to make it harder. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, and Ten, nice. All right, my lateral crawl. If you're having a hard time with the lateral crawl, just give me a lateral ISO hold. Otherwise, you're walking out. Hands doing the opposite thing from the knees. Knees stay low, low, low. If you're doing an ISO hold, hold it for about 20 seconds. <sighs> All right. All right, guys. So I think we're going to skip our last set of abs. And instead, we're going to go into our homework because I want to make sure that we have time for our homework. So that is going to be 20 seconds of knee grabs. Rest for 10 seconds. 20 seconds of either push-ups or archer planks. 
And then rest for 10 seconds and then 20 seconds of knee grab, I'm sorry, of mountain climbers. I do not like me. Oh, sorry. I don't, it just, can you turn it more towards me, Rob? <laughs> there we go. It's so weird. I don't know where that sensor is. All right. 20 seconds of mountain climbers at the very end. You can either do cross body or you can do regular, whichever one feels better on your body. But right now we're starting with our 20 seconds of knee grabs. Going in three, two, one, go. Three seconds, you got this, you got this. All right. Going into our push-ups or our archer planks. If you're doing an archer plank, your feet are out. You're coming up, dragging that arm across your chest. If you're doing a push-up, you're making sure you're getting that chest all the way to the ground. Then we're going into our knee grabs. I'm sorry, God, I keep saying that. Mountain climbers. We're resting. And we're going now. Try to get that knee up as high to those elbows as possible. You got this, you got this. Yeah, woo, we did it guys, we did it. So, we're talking about gratitude. Stop, stop. We're talking about gratitude, we're talking about dopamine, the feel good drug that naturally is produced in your brain whenever you think about something that, that you're grateful for. So, do these exercises, do these gratitude journals and make yourself feel good, all right? Oh my God, this timer's killing me. It's killing me. Why? Oh my goodness. All right, guys, we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within. Yeah. Woo! One by one, guys. Hi. How was that? I don't think I'm going to be able to reach for anything overhead for a few days. Oh my God, seriously, <laughs> seriously. You're going to have to employ the kids to exactly. grab Nobody stuff. Oh my God, I know. That was a burner. Oh man.